now you don't have to worry about creating a PDF document. The all new PDF Element 7 from Wondershare provides pre built PDF document templates. You can search PDF templates by industry, department, or categories like business, finance, legal, among others. In order to search the documents, you just need to enter keywords like invoice or text document in the search term and then start editing the required template. For more information, click on the links in the video description. Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful business infographic design tutorial. And this time we are creating a very unique business infographic design. I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel, like this video and you can also share your thoughts in the comment section below. So let's start the tutorial. So the very first step is to insert a circle shape here and align it at the center now duplicate it and the idea here is to place five circles in a row horizontally uh, after that you can select all these circles and press ctrl G to group these circles together so that you can easily move them around so like this I have grouped all these circles so I am increasing their height and width make sure these are equal now align center after grouping them and align middle now ungroup again so the first basic step is done now we have the platform to build our infographic design so designing these kinds of uh, business diagrams is very easy in Microsoft PowerPoint so I've got this Microsoft Office 365 version which is a subscription based model now I have inserted another circle and filled white color applied shadow effect so you can play with these uh, shadow sliders here and make sure you get the best and realistic shadow effect you don't have to go by what I'm doing here you can also change the numbers so we have applied the shadow effect here now again duplicate it and we will paste this circle on all these blue circles so now our second step is done so till now it's very easy nothing complex here and I'm sure you can easily design this business infographic design you have to stay with me keep watching my video till the end and also in the meantime you can press the subscribe button now we will fill gradient colors on all these blue circles before that you have to remove the line you have to select no line on all these blue circles so I have used format painter option here but you can select individually and click no line so I am filling gradient color here and it's a two stop gradient color means I have used two colors to create a gradient color because I create lots of presentations so I know my color palette but for you I would advise go to Google images search for gradient color palettes or you can go to uigradients.com it's a very good site to learn more about gradients and there you can find lots of gradient color options and color codes which you can apply here filling color is an art and one must learn the color theory if you are into powerpoint designing or any kind of creative work you should learn the color theory and it's also a subject uh, which is very important and it's a part of this creative work so i would recommend you to search color theory in google and there you will find lots of interesting 
breeds and information about color theories and you should also learn about complementary colors and then then you do not have to you know search for color palettes then you can create your own color palettes so now the third step is done we have filled the nice gradient colors as you can see so I've used five types of colors here blue purple red orange and green you can apply your own creativity and imagination here to create your own color palettes here now the next step is to build the connectors so we are designing the connectors so connector by connectors I mean these rectangular bars that will connect all these circular shapes so we will fill a pattern here so in Microsoft PowerPoint uh, there are lots of options to fill the patterns so you can select any pattern as per your choice make sure it's dark a dark colored connector will look good here now duplicate it and place it here and similarly we will connect all these circles with the help of these connectors so till now it's very easy I know when you will f when you have first looked at it you must have thought that this looks very complex and it will take so much time to create such kind of design but now as you can see on our screen it's not that difficult it's very easy and the best part is we are reusing the components we are not creating different and unique components here we are just leveraging the pre-built components and just pasting them again and again so this is a very smart design and this saves time so I'm just grouping all these circle circles together so that these are well aligned so as I've already said that this is a very smart design where we have reused the components and you should always think of such kind of design where the design looks beautiful but it should be smart where you can just reuse the different elements of infographic design so that way you will save time and the overall cost So I'm just focusing on alignment here. I'm making sure that everything is well aligned and it's not out of the place. As it, here you can see it was slightly not aligned here. So we have to move this down a bit like this and now it's well aligned. So you can use the zoom option here to make sure everything is well placed if you are working on a bigger screens so that will be helpful for you then you can easily find these uh, issues where things are not aligned but if you're working on a laptop then you can use this zoom function like this as I'm doing on my screen I'm creating these designs on my laptop because I find it easy to create on laptop so now I have placed the last connector here so now our step 
4 is also done we have established the connection between all these circles and our design is almost ready now we just have to add text few icons a nice background and we just have to beautify it the base is ready the wireframe is ready so till now we have completed four steps now let's add some metal the metallic look on these connect on these connectors to create a metallic gradient effect you need to fill the metallic bar with six stops gradient color on the first gradient stop fill white color on the second a dark gray color on the third fill white color on the fourth again white color on the fifth fill dark gray color on the sixth fill again white color and change the angle from top to bottom or you can also keep it at 45 degrees or uh, or around 270 degrees so I have kept it at certain angle as you can see on your screen now zoom it if you are working on the laptop let's experiment with the angle here you can change the angle by moving this yellow dot and now you can see so I've changed the gradient angle from corners to top to bottom and this is looking much better now and it looks more realistic now now insert a rounded rectangle and we want to cut the metal from the middle like this and it is looking really really realistic and some kind of metallic finish that we have applied on the connector here now duplicate it and place it on all the connectors like this and now it is looking really beautiful so this kind of design uh, makes your content makes your content more readable and it creates a lot of impact and it will really help users to understand it better rather than just mentioning five bullet points so this is a multi-purpose slide it's not like that you have to use it for a process only so wherever you have to mention five points or targets or sales numbers or five steps this is a very useful slide and it can be used for any industry it's not like that you have to use it for medical or manufacturing or school or business presentation it can be used anywhere where you have to use five items you can also use it for four items but for that you have to select these four circles and remove the fifth one group them together extend the grouped shape and there you go you will have uh, four circles or four points infographic ready now insert a rectangle and cover the slide area and the reason behind it we want to insert a picture so fill it with a picture so I've already downloaded a stock image from pexels.com and duplicate the background here and place it on the slide area again this time fill white color here and send to back send this image to back now so we have two layers the bottom layer has an image and the top layer has white background so we have increased the transparency so that the background is visible now now it's the time to add text here so I'm just using dummy text you can use the text as per your requirement you want to add facts here numbers points anything you want you can add here as per your choice you can change the design as well you can put numbers on the top and description at the bottom so 
so that way it will look much better so infographics are in demand nowadays and infographics really help in conveying the information in a better way as visuals are more impact visuals create more impact than just plain text and in the powerpoint you can add animations as well so you can give life to infographics so there you can be as much creative as you want and you can do custom animations as well on such infographics however i haven't covered the animation part in this video because in this video i'm only presenting how to design this beautiful infographic so to, to design such kind of infographic diagram it hardly takes 30 minutes or 45 minutes and it's not that difficult it's really easy you just have to understand the basics of PowerPoint PowerPoint and PowerPoint is really easy it just have drag and drop options it's a game of text and shapes so now let's add some information here placeholder text placeholders and these are dummy text placeholders aligned center a center aligned text will look good here then a left aligned text because our infographic diagram is at the center and text is below each circle so a center line text is recommended here as you can see the text is not that visible so we will insert this rectangular bar here it will be used as a background for this text but we will do some creativity here we will apply a gradient finish a two stop gradient finish here so we will use a four step gradient here and fill white color on all these gradient stops so increase the transparency to 100% on the gradient stops at the edges and slightly increase the transparency for the second and third gradient stop first and fourth should be 100% transparent and second and third should be 5 to 10% transparent and you will get this beautiful effect on the rectangular bar here now duplicate the dummy text here so again as I've told you earlier we are using the components here and that's what is a smart design where you can save time and where you can easily repeat the steps So our design is almost ready now you just have to insert the title at the top and the diagram is ready so guys I hope you like this video we need your support and motivation you can do that by simply clicking the like button subscribe button please 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 subscribe press the subscribe button join the membership as well share your thoughts in the comment section and share this video on a social platform as well Please download this slide from the download link given in the video description. So thanks for watching till the end. Peace.